What is good people? Sasuke the Savage here and today is day 1 to 12 days of anime and today what I have planned is top 10 anime openings for this year. Now of course with these openings is my personal preference just the openings that I like and also mainly what I'm focusing on is the song aspect of the opening not necessarily the visuals even though the visuals are important again I'm really honing in on the music part of it because if I really like the music of it but the visuals are kind of bland or eh or whatever i'm mostly still going to really enjoy the opening regardless all right now this video should not even be longer than five minutes i will try to put the openings in this video but it's a slippery slope because youtube and the copyright thing is is going to be an issue all right i'm probably going to get copyrighted no matter what but we are taking a chance all right so Let's start with the honorable mention. My honorable mention goes to Mob Psycho 100 Season 2, and the opening name is Mob Choir, I'm pretty sure. This opening was really good. I didn't like it as much as Mob Psycho's first opening in the first season, but nonetheless, it was pretty cool. Number 10 is Fruits Basket again. This song really gets me in the feels because Fruits Basket already is the type of show that has a lot of emotion towards it and this opening kind of set the tone for all of that. So yeah, I pretty much enjoyed it. Number nine goes to Babylon, Live and Let Die. And I honestly can't say why I love this opening so much. When it comes to the visuals, it doesn't really have too much eye opening. And then when you go to the actual song, it doesn't even have any vocals towards it. I just really enjoy the music. I can't really say why. Number eight goes to Fire Force's first opening, Inferno. Now, I know a lot of people are going to have this song, this opening, a lot higher, probably even as the best opening of this year. And I will admit, this was the complete package because the song was hitting and the visuals are hitting on a high degree. It's just that I like some of the songs on this list higher more than this one. All right, so that's pretty much it. I have no complaints about Fire Force's opening at all. Number seven goes to Kimetsu no Yaiba, Gurenge, I think that's how you say it. And this is another opening I'm sad to have this low because I really vibe with the music, that melody, that mm mm mm, mm mm mm. Like she hit that. She hit that. So don't take this list ranking as disrespect because I really enjoy that opening. Number six goes to the Promised Neverland Touch Off. Now, this was an opening I didn't have to wait throughout the song to really enjoy. From the start, when I was listening to it, I was like, yo, I was already bobbing my head. I was like, yo, this is kind of hitting, especially when it hits you with that fire in the middle of it. Like, I was like, all right, all right, I see you. Number five goes to Kaguya-sama, Love is War, Love Dramatic. Now, this one is on there because I just like it when there's English lyrics in the song because I can actually sing along at some part. So when I get to say, love is war, love is war, love is war, I'm, you already sold me at that point, especially when the song is already hitting. If I get to sing along, then I'm automatically going to put it a lot higher. So, yeah. Number six 
Number four goes to Duroro Kayan. Now, this was an opening I had early on as the best opening of the year because it came out in the winter season. And I really thought this was going to be the best opening until other things interrupted that flow in the spring season. But this song, like when that bass hits you, it, it just starts off. Party is over. And then when it gets throughout the song, that bass drop, that shit hits you in the neck. Yo. If you haven't listened to that opening, you are going to be listening to the video, but listen to the full opening and you'll see what I mean. Number three goes to Carolyn Tuesday's second opening, Polly Chin. As I said before, if you have English lyrics in your opening, you are going to sell me on it. As you, you Hakusho. show. And this one had all English lyrics, all right? So, yeah. yeah. Number two goes to Vinland Saga's first opening, Mukanjo. I don't know if that's how you say it, but regardless, when I heard this opening and I heard this dude screaming at the top of his lungs, all I could think to myself was like, yo, him in that studio? That had to hurt. That had to hurt. And I could do nothing but respect the man because he was singing his ass off in that opening, all right? So, hey. Tell me what is love for me. And number one on my list, the best opening of 2019 is Carolyn Tuesday's first opening, Kiss Me. It's hard to be a normal person, that's just not me. I'm writing a journal to keep my feelings hiding across the bridge. What would I All right, I'm gonna start right there because, hey, I'm not trying to get that strike. I'm, yo, you two, spare me, spare me, Japanese company, spare me. All right, but that is pretty much it for the openings that I enjoyed for 2019. There were some other ones I really enjoyed. I listened to a little bit to Domestic Girlfriends opening. That had a real good opening, but since I didn't really watch the show, it was kind of weird to just like tag it on here. All right, because these are all shows I watched in some capacity, but. Guys, that is it for the video. Let me know some of your favorite openings for 2019. But guys, I'm out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. Satsuki the Savage, out. Am I dying to live?